Hi and welcome to christinescrafts.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fabric Christmas bauble. Remember to subscribe below and hit the bell so you never miss any of my videos. This is the bauble that we're going to make. It's really really simple and straightforward, really effective. I've made mine out of a lovely Christmassy red with some gold stars on it, gold snowflakes. So this is what you're going to need. A polystyrene ball, entirely up to you what size. This is a nice small one, about three inches diameter. If you want to make a bigger one, you just make your material squares a bit bigger. You need some scissors, or I'm using pinking shears so that the material doesn't fray so much. If you haven't got them, just use ordinary scissors. Some nice festive material or just bright colours perhaps to match your normal decor at Christmas. A bamboo stick, a little stake or something to make a hole in your polystyrene ball. A ruler, something to hang your polystyrene ball up with. And some glue. Now I'm using tacky glue. As you can see, it's had a hard life, so you can't read the label anymore. Um, but the main reason I'm using it is because it has a nice little nozzle on the top to help you get the glue into the hole that you've made in your ball. So to start with, I'm going to put a hanger on my polystyrene ball. I've put a knot in my little ribbon loop and I'm going to hot melt glue it on. This is because it fixes immediately and makes a good strong bond. If you don't have hot melt glue, just stick it on with a glue that you know will stick well to polystyrene. Perhaps you need to experiment. And there we go, we've got a hanging loop so we're ready to make a bauble. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is prepare my material. I'm going to open it up. And because I'm using pinking shears, I'm going to cut down one edge to give it a nice zigzag edge. If you're just leaving yours straight, you don't need to do this step. And then I need to measure out some squares. Now, because I'm doing a small bauble, I'm doing mine just over an inch square. Somewhere between 2.5 and 3 centimetres. If you were doing a larger bauble, which I have done, I've used 2 inch squares. And they make, obviously, cover your bauble a bit quicker because it's so big. So as you can see, I'm cutting a strip the right width. And then I'm going to cut that the other way to cut it into squares. So I start by having a little measure, seeing what they look like. But then you'll see very quickly, I just get on with it. You can see they're squares. They don't need to be precise. So just cut them up. Cut as many as you like. You can always cut some more if you need some more, which is how I did it. I cut some, put some on, cut some, put some on. So just keep cutting and then you're ready to build your bauble. So start by making a hole in the bauble using your stick or your skewer. Put a little bit of glue in it, put your fabric over it and use your skewer to push it into the hole. And then make another hole nearby. How near is up to you? The closer you put them together, the more fullness will be on your bauble and the less chance there'll be of seeing the white polystyrene underneath. If you're happy to see the underneath, then you can leave them further apart. So you can see, sometimes you have a bit of trouble getting it in, but there you go. Next hole, add a little glue. Put your fabric over. Use your stick, push it in the hole and just keep going. I've sped this up so that you don't get too bored because you just repeat, repeat, repeat and keep going until your entire bauble is covered. to the end you can see the whole bauble's covered and that's it lovely little fluffy bauble all complete and ready to hang on the christmas tree 
do them all different colours or do them colours to match your decor. So good luck with yours. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe and hit the bell below so you don't miss any of my videos. Give us a thumbs up and hopefully leave us a comment. Let me know how you get on with yours.